Hi, I'm Shadi Hamid. I'm the director of research at the Brookings Doha Center. So I just was actually speaking on the panel on the role of social media. So we had a very interesting discussion. And when we kind of think about the role that youth can play, and obviously young people are the ones who are most effectively using social media, whether it's Twitter or Facebook, I think the long-term question is, what is what is this ultimately going to lead to? Are young people going to be able to reconsider and alter the existing power structures in the Arab world? And that can be economic structures, it can be political structures. I think one risk now is that we have this sort of exotification of youth and social media and we see it as being a kind of fad and we want to put young people up on a pedestal but the real question is how do you bring youth into the power structures so it's not just a matter of young people advising or saying their opinion and all of that but we need young people who are actually the ones making policy decisions who actually do play prominent roles in major companies in the region and that is going to be the real engine of change. But if we just kind of put them to the side and say, young people, what do you think? That is not a long-term strategy.